Shalom. Call hello Allah, Yahweh Bashem. Yahweh Shah, which means all praises to Yahweh, which is the true name of the Heavenly Father, who you people in the world can be called God, Bahashem, in the name of Yahweh Shah, which is the name of the only begotten Son, who you people in the world can be called Jesus Christ. Once again, the true names of the Heavenly Father, his only begotten Son, is Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah. Shalom also to you, Akim, your brothers that's pushing and spreading this word throughout the four corners of the earth, who's also uplifting the name Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah. Shalom to you, Akim. Shalom also to Israelite foreign, it's a speckled bird, man, woman, the child whose bloodline traces back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Our forefathers, though you may look like the heathen nations, you scattered amongst, which the heathen nations, as you see on this chart, are the nations start from two on down. Those are the heathen nations. Also, if your bloodline, your lineage goes back to these people, as you see on this chart, through the man. And if it's spirit, but when it's with this word, the truth, and you can receive it to the speckled bird, man, when the child this does apply to you, you are Israelites, though you do look like the heathen, you're scattered amongst due to the scattering these people in this chart. So you will have Israelites come looking like the other nations, but then the Israelites, because they're under the curses of Deuteronomy 28, the 15th verse on down, they're spirit, but when it's with this word, that they're the sons and daughters, they have by Shemel Shah, most importantly, they're lying, they're the lynch. Goes back to these people to the man, no matter what they come looking like. If their father's an Israelite, that makes them an Israelite as well. Also, to the few Aquaf, you few Israelite sisters that do listen, learn, believe, and have respect towards your husband, Shalom. To the elect of Israel, Shalom. To you so called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, you combine, consist, and make up the 12 tribes of Israel. You are the Hebrew Israelites, the chosen people, the Most High, Yahweh, and His only begotten Son, who the world he calls Jesus Christ, Yahweh Shah. Alright? And we're going to touch more. On uh, you know this uh, this thing with um, what's going on in Texas? All right, so you don't know who this is. This is uh Bun B, you know UGK and the Ground Kings. So I used to listen to, I still listen to him some here and there. But all right, he's even um addressing what's going on down there. So let's keep going. All right, so I'm in Houston, Texas. As you can see, I have power in my house, um, but 56% of the people in the city don't have power. I don't have running water in my house. There's a, a growing number of people in Houston. I think it was maybe a third of people, but now I think it's starting to grow. And even in small towns around Texas, like Baytown and Port Arthur, they've shut the water off completely so, you hear so that? that their water system does not get... They shut... The water down. The water, because what they were saying, you know, that uh, the snow, you know, it was going to cause, you know, blackouts and, you know, uh, power outages. Well, which is blackouts and shortages, you see? And we know that uh, down there they can't handle, you know, um, snow like this. They're not built for that. But still, snow shouldn't be able to knock out the power. They cut the power off. All right? Yeah. Destroyed right now. Texas does not have the infrastructure to deal with something like this. It was never anticipated. And so that's why you have so many people with freezing pipes because the majority of people in Houston do not have insulated pipes because there was necessarily not a need. Um, let's talk energy. Let's talk about this 56% of people in Houston that don't have energy right now. It's because Texas is the only state in the United States in the 48 continental United States that isn't connected to the federal um, supply of energy. Why is that? Because Texas broke away from it, privatized it, monetized it for their own purposes, and, and now the residents in Texas are suffering. People in Houston, people in Baytown, Conroe, Willis, people in Dallas, Austin, San Antonio, and all these little small towns in between. I don't know if the news is really talking about this on the national level, but people are dying here. They just asked for a refrigerated truck in Galveston County to help store bodies. Because they have more than 20 bodies that they need to store right now. People are dying from carbon monoxide in their homes right now. I can't even tell you how many thousands of people in Houston are choosing to have to, have, well, they not choose, they have no choice. They're sleeping in their cars outside to try to keep them and their families warm. People is in their house with multiple hoodies and coats and stuff. And keep in mind, this is Houston, Texas. So a lot of these people with coats, they don't have North Face. They don't have Columbia jackets. They don't have insulated coats. You know what I'm saying? 
So I'm just trying to let everybody know about what's really going on out here. Meanwhile, our governor is blaming it on renewable energy. Renewable energy is only 10% of the energy in the state of Texas. It's only 10%. So don't get on Fox News and tell that lie. Try to, you know, perpetuate some kind of political agenda. This ain't got shit to do with politics. Democrats are dying in Texas. Republicans are dying in Texas. Independence. Unitarian, whatever the fuck it is you are. You know what I'm saying? People are dying in Texas. We have to... We got to do better. Greg Abbott, Dan Patrick, y'all let this happen to this state. Y'all let this happen to the state. We're not talking about ice on the roads and none of that shit. That's far from the problem. That's far from the problem. The problem is this power situation. Real shit. The problem is this power situation. So we gonna have to do like Georgia did, y'all, and turn this motherfucker blue. And that's not gonna work. All right. That uh that uh voting is not gonna work, man. Alright? When you Jakes, when you tri- when you tribes gonna learn that voting for your oppressor, okay, Esau eating the self proclaimed white man. Alright? When you when you gonna learn that alright, continuing trying to vote for him, you know, it's not gonna get you anywhere, man. It hasn't gotten you anywhere. All right, you put you, you put Biden on. You Jake's put Biden in office, and look what's happening under Biden, man. All right, look what's happening to you under Biden, man. Biden don't give a shit about you tribes, man. All right, and we we, we we told you, we told you, all right, that these people are the devil. All right, they don't care, you know, and they want to destroy you, man. All right, let that bend, you know, or completely eat in my town, you know. That would have, something would have been done real quick, all right? But real quick, because we're going back, you know, they cut the power off. You see? This is, uh, let me see. God of the air. Let me see if I can look that up real quick. All right. Actually, let's start off with this, and we're going to come back. I ain't put anything together. I'm just going by the spirit. All right? Mischief by law. Let's believe that Psalms 92 and 94. What the? Let's just go there. Psalms 94. I'm not playing these games. All right. All right. Psalms uh, 94. And um, 20 says, shall the throne of iniquity, all right, well, who's the throne of iniquity? Esau, Edom, so-called white man, had fellowship with thee, speaking of who? Us, which framed mischief by law. And what did they do? They cut the power off so they could what? So-called save, you know, energy. They can so-called save because it was a high demand, you know, for people to turn the heat on, you know, to use up electricity, man. All right. This is supposed to be America, right? You're supposed to be Atlanta great. You're supposed to uh, have... You know, plenty, right? But no, nah, they shut, all right, these people uh, electricity off, man. All right? This is what they're doing. Okay? And um, let's go back to, uh, what was that? That was Sarat 10. You see? It's, uh, it's just Sarat 10 and 1, right? It says a wise judge will instruct his people. And actually, you know what? That brings me to another scripture, man. All right. What is it? Uh, how dumb can you be to do that? But it's all set up. All right. They basically want you people, you know, in submission. All right. As much as possible. They're going to put as much hell on you as possible, which is at the end of the day, it's your how about Shemal Shah. But they're going to want you people to be in the worst case scenario so you could easily bow down to that new world order, man. All right? That's what it all leads to. And you've been warned. You've been warned that something like this was coming, you know? Bam. 
prepared with me. Looking this scripture up. Alright. This is uh All right, this is uh, Je Jeremiah 49 and 7, okay? It says, concerning Edom, all right? Thus said the Lord, how about my shop host? Is wisdom no more teeming? Is counsel perished from the, from the prudent? Is their wisdom vanished? All right? All this all this talk about how you got the greatest economy, the greatest energy source, the greatest military, but but you can't even, um, uh, you had to cut people's electricity off, you know, just so you can save energy, you know? You had to a uh, uh, food shorts, you know. You gotta get your uh, goods from other uh, countries, man. Okay, this is supposed to be uh, the greatest country. Why you gotta rely on other countries for your goods? You know, countries that you that you uh, constantly destroy and bomb. You see, and you gotta rely on the people that you know you bomb every day for their goods. All right, that's not that's not smart, man. Because when you rely on another nation for your goods, right? And that nation doesn't like you. That nation could easily stop seeing those goods and what? You're going to easily be what you see now, shortages. All right? Shortages, you having to cut back on particular things. All right? And it says, flee back, turn no, dwell deep over inhabitants of the dump. I will bring the calamity Esau upon him the time that I will visit him. If grape gathers come to thee, would they not leave some gleaning grapes? If thieves by night, till they, they will destroy till they have enough. All right? What does it say? The thief coming out for the, to steal, to kill, and to destroy all right. It says, "By I made Esau bear means naked. He's exposing them. All right. I've uncovered his secret place, and he shall not be able to hide himself. His seed is spoiled, his and his brother and his neighbors, and he is not. All right. And that's the thing. He's being exposed, and people are seeing. Let's get this real quick. All right. Leads me to this. So, Rock ten and one says, "A wise judge, right, will instruct his people, and the government of a prudent man is well ordered." All right, this is not a well ordered government. This uh government is out of order, man. All right, this society deals with uh, uh chaos and confusion, man. All right, as the judge of the people is himself, so his officers, and what man of man the ruler of the city of the city is, such are all they that dwell therein. An unwise king, which this man is an unwise king. No more wisdom is in him, man. That wisdom was given to him from more high anyway. All right, an unwise king destroyeth his people. But through the prudence of them which are in authority, the city shall be inhabited, man. This is an unwise king, man. You people are witnessing an unwise king, man. All right, starting with these elites, man. These people do not need to be ruling the planet Earth, man. And it says, the power of the Earth is in the hand of the Lord, Yahweh, by Shema, Shah. And in due time, you will set over it one that is profitable. And who is going to be set up? All right? Who is about to be set up? Jacob. For Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it. That follows, man. Jacob is you so-called... Negro, Latino, Native Americans, man. Those are our people that's uh, 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 scattered amongst the nations, man. All right? We going to be set up. Okay? So, the devil, we bring this out. Let's get that. Revelations 12 and 12. This is what you're witnessing right now. Therefore, rejoice ye heavens. We're speaking to you, you, really, the Israelites. All right? And ye that dwell in them, woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil... Which is uh, Diablos, which means this, a deceiver, all right? A slanderer, which is speaking of the physical. It's speaking of a man. It's speaking of Esau, Eden. He's the devil. For the devils come down unto you having great wrath because he knoweth that he had but a short time, all right? And that's why you see these things happening because he's coming down with great wrath, man. That's why you see martial law troops in particular cities. This is why you see him shutting down power grids, all right? Uh, using a harp system, which at the end of the day is all you have about Shema Shah, man. All right. Okay. At the end of the day, it's Yahweh Bashim al Shah, but he's using these devils, okay, to uh, fulfill his will on the planet Earth, man. All right, for this judgment that's being prepared. Because two thirds of you, there's no pity for you either because you've been uh, warned, all right, to, uh, about this man. You've been told to repent. You don't want to do it. All right. What did, he, what did Bum B just say? He said, we need to turn this state blue. You know? What, what, well, what about Yahweh Shah? All right, what about Yahweh by Shema Shah? Why is that never in consideration of our people, man? All right? Why don't you ever talk about repenting? Why don't you ever talk about coming back to your nationality? All right? Because if you do that, maybe that would change. That would change the whole thing. 
You see, the Lord wants to overthrow this man. He's going to do it. All right. But see, two thirds, they don't want that, though. You see, they want to be comfortable in captivity, man. And this man is coming down with great wrath, man. You sitting here uh, uh, complaining to this government, you know, about how y'all need to cut the power on and you're not helping us enough. Well, he's not going to help you. He's coming down with great wrath, man. All right. Real quick. Um, what video was I about to play? All right. Hold on. Let's go back. Cause look, oh, this is that's another video. But look at Ted Cruz, man. While you people down here, while you people was down there suffering. What's right? up, y'all? Steph Curry here. You was suffering. Are you still suffering down in um Texas and elsewhere? All right, due to this uh storm. All right. So look anytime so you oh. politicians, look at the people you trust in your government, right? You Official. gotta visit my favorite barber shop, Benny Adam. My family barber, Yusuf Wright, taking care of the community as well. A lot of good things happen when you do with black-owned businesses. Texas, where half a million residents were still without power today. And more than 200,000 were without clean water because treatment plants are failing and pipes are... And that's another thing. It's par it said there's parasites down there in that water, which the water has always been polluted, all right? They've been putting all types of stuff in your drinking water, in the water you got to use to bathe in, man. All right? There's nothing new. Okay? Texans have been lining up for clean water from public spigots, boiling their own, or even trying to melt snow. Yeah, melting snow for clean water. I mean, you know that the infrastructure is screwed when your best option for water is to mug a snowman. But the saddest part is that these people are the lucky ones. Because it turns out one poor Texan had to travel 800 miles just to get heat, water, and electricity. Senator Ted Cruz, he is now facing a whole lot of questions after he was spotted on a plane traveling to Cancun, Mexico, in the midst of this unfolding crisis in his home state of Texas. If you go on social media, you will see social media users posting multiple pictures of the senator and his family in the Houston airport waiting to board their flight. Ted Cruz! So while you out there suffering, all right, your lovely politicians, the ones that you love to vote for, that you uh, think care about you, speaking to you tribes out there, all right, to hell with you other nations, all right? Soon as uh, the uh, disaster strike, all right, he hit the plane, and he out of here, man, all right? He down in Cancun, Mexico, man, where it's nice and warm, man, him and his wife and his kids, all right? Why you suffering, man, all right? Showing you, they don't care, man. You see? They don't care, man. All right? Let's get, uh... I was about to get, um, what was I going to get? Slip my mind. Um, you know what? Let's get Ciroc 13. All right? This is uh, Sirach 13 and 1. It says, He that touch a pitch shall be defiled therewith, and he that had fellowship with the proud man shall be like unto him, man. And you people are proud, man. All right? You are people, including most of our people, you are outside the truth. You're proud, man. You think like an Edomite, man. All right? Burn not thyself above thy power while thou livest, and have no fellowship with one that is mightier and richer than thyself. For how agree the kettle and the earth and pot together? For it is, if the one be smitten against the other, it shall be broken. The rich man, all right, have done wrong, and yet he threatened with whole. The poor is wrong, and he must entreat also. And real quick, I got a video just for that. Because that's Ted Cruz, right? So you got um the mayor of Texas, which he uh, recently resigned after this uh, incident. He, uh... Man. Hey, it's me. You know, the voice in your head that's always reminding you to do things. Listen, we're not waiting to do our... We're dropping the clues bonds for Traded Truth. I saw him post that people are sleeping in cars and dying 
due to carbon monoxide poisoning. And Trey pointed out something that is clearly ringing true because Trey said, and I quote, mm. the problem for us is the people who in positions of power in Texas felt the money was more important. How the F government and politicians allow this and allow ERCOT to F us over. Uh, ERCOT is the Electric Re Reliability Council of Texas. By the way, they operate the electric grid for 75% of the state from what I read. Uh, now, people in Texas have gone without power for our food for three days, says Trey. So, really serious situation happening in Texas. You know what I mean? Uh, prayers up for everybody in Texas. Who do people turn to in times like this? Who helps folks in situations like this? Because the Avengers are fictional characters. So is the Justice League. I would love for Wanda to create an alternate reality in Texas right now where they are not being hit with a winter storm, but that's not reality, okay? This isn't a Marvel Disney Plus TV show. In times like this, the people that are supposed to help are the elected officials, the public servants we put into office to protect, provide, and serve our communities. So we think. I literally said to you uh, in the 6 a.m. hour in regards to Joe Biden not wanting to cancel student loan debt that I don't care if it's Republican or Democrat. They don't care about helping anyone except the rich and elite. OK, that always comes first in this country. These corporations will get bailouts, but the people will starve. It never fails. And this situation in Texas is no different. Keep in mind what I said about Texas. OK, keep in mind what Trey said about Texas. Deadly winter storm. Trey, the truth said elders and babies are dying from carbon monoxide poisoning because they have to sleep in their cars. Folks haven't eaten or had power in three days. Says Trader Truth. And the mayor of Colorado City, Texas, Tim Boyd, the mayor, had this to say. Let's go to KRBC, NBC9 for the report, please. The strong will survive and the weak will perish. Harsh words from Colorado City Mayor Tim Boyd as residents continue to fight the cold. Mitchell County Judge Mark Merrill says the area has been struggling to keep water and some electricity on since Monday. And as many in the county look for help, Colorado City's mayor says don't look to him. Quoting, it's not the local government's responsibility to support you during trying times like this. Sink or swim, it's your choice. Colorado City's mayor has Jesus. resigned, but other you heard that? Let's play that back a little bit. This is your your, your so-called government that's supposed to be supporting you. I had two uh, uh Jakes in my job here talking that madness, man. Talk, I'm telling them about how you know the uh I had seen a picture down in Texas. It was a store. Somebody had took a picture. The water for a case of water was eighteen ninety nine, and he going and they going to sit here and tell me, oh, they can't do that. The government. Uh, uh, they don't, they can't do that because the, the government find out they price, price gouging, you know, they're going to, uh, take the, they're going to just take the water and give it to the people. Okay. Well, what did this clown just say? And some electricity on since Monday. And as many in the county look for help, Colorado City's mayor says don't look to him. Quoting, it's not the local government's responsibility to support you during trying times like this. <laughs> An unwise can't destroy his people. All right? I don't give a shit about you people, man. All right? Let me read it again. The rich man have done wrong, and yet he threatened with whole. The poor is wrong, and he must entreat also. If thou be for his profit, basically, you know, going to your uh, nine to five slaving, they could take taxes out your check. All right? That's when you profit him, man. All right? Just running. Keep going to work and making the system run. You know? And don't say nothing about it. Put two masks on. Shut up. All right? He will use thee, but if thou have nothing, he will forsake thee, man. All right, those people don't got nothing. Jobs is done, all right? His witchcraft ain't working. He can't deceive you people. You people bucking up against his agenda, all right? So now he's going he's going to uh, leave you for dead, man. And we warned you, man. I keep saying it. We warned you. Through the spirit and power of your heart, by shot, you've been warned, all right? If thou have anything, he will live with thee. Yeah, he will make thee bare and will not be sorry for it. If he have need of thee, he will deceive thee and smile upon thee and put thee in hope. He will speak like a smile on his face right there, man. Let us smile. <laughs> he will put thee in hope. All right. And what, what was your, you people's uh, great, you know, white hope, man? It was uh, Joe Biden, man. Now look. All right. When Joe Biden came in, uh, first came into office, what did he do? He signed all those executive orders. And what happened? He stopped that pipeline. Uh, uh that pipeline that they was doing. Eleven thousand people got laid off. You had a Jake come on. He was in his car. He was hurt, man. Dude was hurt. All right. Had a, he was drinking, saying he don't know why he did that. 
You know? How he messed up on voting on Joe Biden. You had uh, another dude. Basically, he had uh, he was a diabetic, I think. And he gets some uh, his medicine, I think it's called insulin. And this is under Joe Biden, by the way. It was him and it was two other women. They went to get their insulin uh, medicine for their kids or themselves. And their insulin went from $60. One chick, hers went from $60. And it went all the way up. All right, to uh a thousand to two thousand dollars, man, and it was bugging out, man. But that's them, all right. They will put in hope, and he will speak the fair and say, "What wants is doubt? What you people want? You wanted Trump out of office, all right? You wanted things to go back to normal, you see, and you're not getting that, all right." And he will shame thee by his meats until we have drawn the the dry twice or thrice, and at the last. He will laugh thee to scorn afterward. When he see it thee, he will forsake thee and shake his head at thee. All right? And that's what they doing, man. All right? And that's and that's another thing. What's that saying in the world, man? You know? Fool me once. You know, shame on you. Fool me twice. Shame on me. All right? And we at the point where it's shame on you people. All right? Especially you jakes that's, that's down there in this madness that's going on down there. All right? That's shame on you because you continue to run all right, to your oppressor, man. All right. It says that thou be invited of a mighty man will draw thyself. And so much the more he will he invite thee. Press thou not upon him, lest thou be put back and stand not far off, lest thou be forgotten, man. Alright. It says, Affect not to be made equal unto him and talk, and believe not his many words. For with much communication will he tempt thee, and smile upon you, he will give thee up, get out of thy secrets, man. But cruelly he will lay up the, thy words, and he will not spare to do thee hurt and put and to put thee in prison, man. And who does that remind you of? All right, who does that happen to the most, man? It happened to you tribes, man. But this is what you get. All right, this is what you get. All right, we're gonna go to Sirach, the twelfth chapter. It's judgment from Yahweh by Shema Shah at the end of the day. All right. All right, Salaki. Um. <laughs> I'm uh, this is what I want. I want uh, I was gonna get thirteen, but I just guess I'll start up because it sounds similar. All right, it sounds similar to what it says in Sirach thirteen, but it's uh, Sirach Ecclesiastes twelve and ten says, "Never trust thy enemy." All right, and this man is the enemy of our nation, and he's proven that he's shown all right that he's your enemy. He's done nothing all right good towards you to show all right you so called Negro, Latino, Native American to show. All right, that he's your friend or that he's uh, uh, uh for you, man. All right, and if he did, it's a facade. And like it says in um uh Sarah fourteen, if he do good, you know, if he if he do good, to, I mean, yeah, if he do good, he do uh it unwillingly, man. All right, how can he do good to, him, to, to uh if he do not good to himself, then to whom you know good shall he do? All right, you no know, quick paraphrase. I butchered it, but it is what it is. All right. It says, never trust thy enemy, for like his arm rushes so is his wickedness. All right? You can wipe, uh, you got to, you know, something, you know, an uh, instrument or a tool, you know, with iron on it. You try to clean it off, you're going to get most of it off, but it's still going to be a little bit left. And that's how it is with this man's wickedness, man. All right? He's going to come out, like it says, as an angel of light. All right? But then eventually, the Yahweh by Shema is going to do something to make him expose himself, to make him show you tribes that he's your enemy, man. And this is just one of them. All right? And this is going to get worse. It says, though he humble himself and go crouch and yet take good heed and beware of him, that thou shalt be on to him as thou hast wiped a looking glass, and thou shalt know that his rust have all to better, have been all, not all to, slack him, have not been all together wiped away. All right? And that's where we at with it, man. For a period of time, you know, you go all the way back, you know, to the 70s on down, you are, uh, you tribes, you fell asleep, man. You actually believe these people changed, man. They haven't changed. All right? And they will never change. All right. Set him not body, lest when he have overthrown thee, he stand up in thy place, and you let him sit at thy right hand, lest he seek to take thy seat, and and, and thou at the last remember my words and be pricked there with. But that's what happened. You what? You put body in the office, and it really don't matter who you put in the office. All right. You shouldn't be voting for none of these people, especially then now like he says, and then now if your brother, all right, you should not set a stranger over thee if that's not of thy brother. What would Jake do? You run to oppressor. You you put your oppressor above you, man. And this is what you get. All right, and that's why 
or we'll pity a charmer that is bitten with a serpent or any such as come now wild beast, man. And we know real quick, Esau is that serpent. All right, just anybody that's new, he's that serpent, man. It's evident. This is uh, Revelation three and twenty, and cast him, him into the bottomless pit and shut him up and set a seal. Which I actually let me go up. This is one, and I saw an angel come down from heaven, having the key of the bottomless pit and the great chain in his hand, which that was Europe. And he laid hold on this, the dragon, right? That old serpent, which is the devil and Satan, and bound him a thousand years, man. And this is that same serpent, man. All right, he's he's back, and he's he 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 he's uh, uh uh ruling, all right, on the planet Earth, man. All right, and this is what you get out of it, man. All right, so who will pity? We don't we don't feel sorry for you. All right, you Jake's out there, you know, uh, complaining about what's going on, what's happening down there, cause you've been. We told you this man was like that. All right, what Jake do? Jake, uh, that's that's no, nah, not all of them are like that. Okay. Like I told them two Jakes that was in uh, uh, uh at the gig, man. You know, how he was trying to talk about how the government, they can't do that because the government won't. Look, the government don't give a shit about you, man. All right? And, um, one more video I had it was right here. So even though they got the electricity back on, all right, check this out. All right, we're moving on from the Texas power outage to the Texas power outrage. Electricity supply, the orange line, and demand, the green line, has finally stabilized. But boy, wholesale prices for electricity in Texas got really nuts over the past several days. At one point, one megawatt went from $50 to about $9,000. Now, that doesn't affect you, the retail customer, as long as you're on a fixed rate plan, which most people are. But if you're on one of these variable or indexed plans, your rate and therefore your bill can shoot straight up. In fact, one woman messaged us and said, mine is over $1,000, not sure how, 700 square foot apartment, I've been keeping at 60 degrees. Mm -hmm. Another couple tweeted at us saying, using as little as possible, 1,300 square foot house, and this is my bill. I only paid 1,200 for the whole year in 2020, they're at 3,801 now. Uh, then I spoke with a guy named Ty Williams. He has three different meters, uh, one for his home, one for his guest house, one for his office. Uh, last month combined, he spent $660. Now the totals for each one of these is more than $5,000 in this snapshot. At this point, his electric bill for this month is more than $17,000. How in the world can anyone pay that? You know, you go from a couple hundred dollars a month there's absolutely no way. It makes no sense. Ty is with a company called Gritty, which made news earlier this week when they suggested that their members switch to a fixed rate plan with another provider. Not so easy, though, says Ty, because no other providers would take him until February the 26th. And so pretty much, uh, you know, you're being held hostage and you can't do anything about it. Okay, some good news. Ty says Reliant Energy has now agreed to take him on and switch him over as of Friday. What about that bill he owes to Gritty, though? What about all of those bills that so many Texans are going to be owing to their electric providers? We're talking about huge bills here. All of that is still going to have to be sorted out. Uh, I'd mm -hmm. like to know what your bill is. Don't send any identifying info or your account number or anything like that. That's a, that's a, that's a serpent for you, man. That's a devil. All right, that's the devil for you, okay? This is who you dealing with. If he do, if he do even to himself, to whom will he do good, man? All right, he don't give a damn, man. All right, but a lot of our people, they're not going, um, they're not going to consider that. All right, they're not going to hearken to it. They just going to continue trying to vote. All right, you going to continue to try to vote. You going to continue protesting. All right. Continue trying to, uh, uh, you know, whatever little thing Jake do to try to get in lines with this devil, man, to be friends and, 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 and um, you know, one in one with this devil, man. And it's not going to work. You're just going to continue to keep getting tried down, man. All right? Right here, this is Isaiah 30 and 1. This is why we don't feel sorry for you. All right? It says, Woe to the rebellious children, saith the Lord, Yahweh Shemel Shah. 
Actually, you know what? Let's get Isaiah 2. Isaiah 2. We're going to come over. All right? Now, those was uh, Edomites you saw in there, but most likely it's a lot of Jake. Whenever you think it's uh, poor, all right, mostly it's Jake. Okay? It's mostly Jake. But now, Edomites are catching hell. All right? Everybody's catching hell. This is... Uh, That's how you know he's talking about when they talk about old heavens. He's talking about Israel. This is Isaiah 1 and 2 says, Hear, O heavens, and give air, O earth, for the Lord, Yahweh, by Shema, I have, have, have spoken. And I have nourished and brought up children. They have rebelled against me. The ox knoweth his owner, and the ass his master's crib. But Israel does not know my people does not consider. All right? Here it is. The Lord is putting all this on you. We're doing the videos and showing you that the Lord is doing it. It's in the scriptures. But Jake don't consider, man. Jake, you still going to try to run to the polls. All right, you still gonna do whatever old tired tactics you try to do to get you know, uh, want to try to you know be friendly with this devil, man. It's not gonna work. All right, it says our oh, sinful nation of people laden with iniquity, a see evil doers, children that are corrupted, they have forsaken the Lord Yahweh by Shemasha, they have provoked the Holy One Israel onto anger, they are gone away backward. Why should you be stricken anymore? You will vote more and more. The whole head is sick and the whole heart faint from the sole to the foot. Even onto the wound, the head, there is no silence in it. But wounds, bruises, and putrefying sores is from slavery. All right. They have not been closed, neither bound up, neither modified with women. And as long as you uh rely on this devil, it will you will never be healed, man. Alright. Let me get uh Isaiah. Um you know what? Let's keep going real quick. I'll get that one last scripture. All right, in 7 verse it says, Your country is desolate. Your cities are burned with fire. Your land is devoured. All right, and this is speaking of the homeland. All right, but even where you at now, now it's desolate. All right, strangers devour in your presence and it is desolate as overthrown by strangers, man. All right, so let's get uh, Isaiah 30. This is uh, Isaiah 30 and 1. It says, Woe to the rebellious children, saith the Lord, Yahweh, by Shema, so they take counsel, but not of me, and that cover with a covering, but not of my spirit, that they may add sin to sin. That walk to go down to Egypt, which this is spiritual Egypt, America is new Egypt, all right? And have not asked that my mouth was Egypt, it's synonymous with house of bondage. Have not asked that my mouth to strengthen themselves in the strength of Pharaoh, which is the new, which is Edom, they're the new Pharaoh, and to trust in the shadow of Egypt. Therefore, should the strength of Pharaoh be ashamed, and to trust in the shadow of Egypt is confusion, man. All right, these people are confused. These people thought, you know, uh, the moment that snow hit the ground, that you know, they was automatically going to be on it, even though they don't know how the hell the snow down there. All right, what something else happened? What did they do instead? They cut your power off. All right, food shortages, you know, water shortages, all types of issues down there, man. All right, and don't think this is just a Texas thing or a, a southern thing. It's coming to all. It's coming nationwide, man. All right, this is a test run. All right, for what they about to do nationwide, man. Worldwide, really. All right, that's just a test. That's how these. That's how these elites roll, man. All right, they'll they'll try a particular thing on one, you know, city or one little uh uh, what's that word? You know, one little town, if you want to put it that way, to see how the people will act. You know, what will happen? All right, once they get the results. All right, then something bigger comes. And that's what they did with this whole pandemic, man. All right, how they shut the whole world down, you see, to test how you people will act the first round, to see who will uh, submit. All right, who will, when they said put the mask on, they said they was testing on who will put the mask on, will show you those people that put the mask on immediately, all right, and enforcing that you put the mask on. Those going to be the people that's going to submit to the new order, the people that buck up against it. All right, that's going to be the people they, they're going to have a problem with. They're going to have to get rid of, man. All right. But it says, For princes were as Zoan and his ambassadors came to Hanes. They were all ashamed of people that could not profit them, nor be in help, nor profit, but ashamed and also reproach, man. All right. Bum B, when he was in that video, that, that, he was uh, ashamed of the government, man. All right. And many like him, man. I bet a lot of you Jakes are like that, man. All right. Like that Jake I said when uh Biden, he cut off that pipeline, which caused 11,000 people to lose their jobs. All right, that one Jake, he was ashamed, man. All right. 
told you uh, uh, that Biden was going to be no different. He was probably going to be worse than Donald Trump. Like I said, the hell with both of them. All right? But the point being is, is the burden of the beast of the South and the land of trouble, anguish from whence come the young and the old lion, the viper and fairy flying serpent, they will carry their riches upon the shoulders of young asses and their treasures upon ones of camels to a people that should not profit them. For the Egyptians shall help in vain, help in vain and to no purpose. Therefore, have I cried concern is their strength is to sit still because the Lord is putting the spirit on uh, Esau to sit still, man. All right. He's doing that. OK. Because you don't want to hearken, you know, you tribes, let me get uh, Because what does it say in Psalms uh, 17, 13? Deliver me, oh, deliver me, O oh Lord, from the hand of the wicked, which is thy sword, man. All right? And you rejected Yahweh by Shema Shah, so let's get that. You know? This is, uh... This is perfect, all right? I started one, all right? This is uh, Hosea 4 and 1. It says, Hear the word of the Lord, Yahweh by Shema Shah, ye children of Israel, for the Lord have a controversy with the inhabitants of the land. All right? He has a controversy with these Edomites, which yeah, two thirds of you, you love so much. All right? The heathens. And since two thirds of you want to be joined with them, he got a controversy with you. Because there is no truth, no mercy, no knowledge of Yahweh in the land. All right? By swearing and lying and killing and stealing, committing adultery, they break out and blood touch of blood. Therefore shall the land mourn. Everyone that dwells there and shall languish with the beasts of the field and the fowl, with the fowls of heaven, yeah, the fishes of the sea, also shall be taken away. Yet let not no man strive nor approve another for thy people as they that strive with the priests. All right, you came against the prophets, whether you scoff, whether you ignore it. All right. You ignore your high by Shemel Shah. You see? Therefore thou shalt fall in the day, and the prophet also shall fall with thee in the night. All these, these passes. I did a video on that, how he was getting shot, you know, shot in the church or shot, you know, outside the church. That's the Lord doing that. All right. And I will destroy thy mother. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Because thou has rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee. That thou, being no priest to me, seeing thou has forgotten the law of thy power, I will also forget thy children, man. All right. So that's what's happening. Okay. And actually keep going. It says, as they as, as they were increased, so they sinned against me. Therefore will I change their glory into shame. Man, how how did Jake increase in this society? The gifts that was given to you, the different, you know, ability, you know, uh privileges you were able to do, even though you're being oppressed right now. All right. The Lord put the spirit on Esau to ease up a little bit on uh this oppression. But since you know that's happened, Jake got more and more proud, more and more wicked, all right. More and more details from your by Shema So this is what he's doing. He's turning your glory into shame, man. And, and real quick, let's uh go back to that video with Bun B. You know, he uh had said something. Got Motherfucker blue. Queenie says she ready to be the next Stacey Abrams. I'm damn sure gonna be right there with her. So you want and that's 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 it right there. I was rejected knowledge. The scriptures say give not the strength unto a woman. All right, I will not usurp a, a woman. To, uh, I will have. I will have. I will not have a woman to usurp authority. All right, above the men. But you, you, you saying you gonna you gonna uh, allow her to be put in power above you? You're not supposed to do that. But see, they rejected knowledge, man. So you're gonna be rejected, man. That's not gonna work. All right, that damn sure ain't gonna work. Cause Eve, Eve got allow her plate when it comes to you how about Shemal Shah as well, man. All right. You got Texas judgment. deserve better than this shit. We supposed to be the greatest state in the goddamn United States. <laughs> ah man, um, let me go back and read that. It says, "As they will increase, so they sin against me. Therefore, I will change their glory and shame." All right, Texas is a glory to him. Now it's a shame, man. You even got people all nationwide in this country. They uh, they were mocking Texas. You know, Texans as as you call them. All right. Telling them this is what you get, you know, for uh, voting for who you vote for. It was all types of madness, man.
you'd have thought those people that help uh, other states that came to the aid of Texas, they didn't. They scoffed at them, showing you the uh, the uh, house divided against itself cannot stand, man. All right. It says they eat up the sin of my people and they set their heart on their iniquity, and there shall be there shall be like people like priests, and I will punish them for their ways and reward them their doings, man. All right. So that's what's happening, man. This really punished me from your high by shot, man. All right. This isn't this just isn't uh this just isn't happening. You know, the, the how about Shema Shah is using the elites to bring the hammer down, especially on you tribes, man. All right. And the elect, on the other hand, because two things going to happen. You're going to see, you know, the wicked of our people. They're going to be they're going to dwell in torments. All right. While on the other side, you're going to see the uh, the uh, the Israel of your how about Shema Shah. All right. The believers of how about Shema Shah. They're going to be good, man. All right. Through all this. You see. And actually, let's get Isaiah 10. I get that a lot. But like I said, it's the time we're in. All right? This is Isaiah 10 and 20. Right? It says, And it shall come to pass in that day that the remnant of Israel, so the remnant, all right, that small uh, amount that Yahweh Bashim Shah has left, all right, of our nation. All right? Because what did it say in Isaiah the first chapter? If it had not accepted been there had been a remnant, we had, should have been likened on to Sodom and Gomorrah. All right? In Sodom and Gomorrah, you know the Lord destroyed that place, man. All right? That place was unrecognizable to this day. So imagine if the Lord, he didn't uh, preserve the elect. All right? The one-third, man. We would have been through. All right? We would never get out of captivity. It says, And it shall come to pass in that day that the remnant of Israel and such as are escaped of the house of Jacob shall no more again stay upon them that smote them. But shall stay upon the Lord, Yahweh Shemashah, the Holy One in Israel in truth. The remnant shall return, even the remnant of Jacob, unto the mighty Yahweh. For though thy people Israel be as the sand and the sea, which we're everywhere. All right? It's more Israelites on the planet than any other nation. They'll tell you all day that, you know, China has the greatest population. You know, they're the biggest nation. Well, that's not true. You got Israelites amongst them. All right? We're the biggest uh, population on the planet Earth, man. All right? But... We've been scattered. It says, yet a remnant of them shall return to consumption decrees to overflow with Russians, man. All right? And, um... This is, uh, Matthew 25. Uh, Probably won't get this one. All right? All right, so this is uh, Matthew uh, 25 and 34. Then said the king, then shall the king say unto them on, a, on his right hand, Come, ye blessed of my father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. For I was in hunger, and ye gave me meat, and I was thirsty, and ye gave me drink. I was a stranger, and ye took me in. Naked, and, and, naked, and ye clothed me, and I was sick, and ye visited me, and I was in prison, and yet... And ye came on to me. All right. Who does it represent? That represents us, man. In this society, we're sick. All right. Mentally, spiritually. All right. And physically sick. All right. You know, we uh, we what? We're in prison. You see? Esau guys locked in these prisons, jam packed in these prisons. Nobody else but us. You see? And you could see that Esau left a lot of those Texans and more people where else were they at? You know, he left them bare, man. Left them naked out there. Just left them naked out there to survive on their own, man. All right? You heard the mayor. You see? Then shall the righteous answer him, saying, Lord, we saw we, when saw we thee, and hungered, and fed thee, or thirsty, or gave thee drink. 
When we saw thee a stranger and took thee in, or naked and clothed thee, or when saw we the sick, or in prison and came unto thee. And the king shall answer and say unto them, Verily I say unto you, and as, and as much as ye have done it unto one of the least of, my, of these, my brethren, ye have done it unto me. So everything that Esau has done to afflict us, all right, to afflict our people, you're doing that to your house by your shot, man. All right? That's why he's about to come out here and he's about to take you out of power. All right? Then shall he also say unto them on the left hand, because Esau what? He's the left hand side, all right? The wicked, all right? Depart from me. Ye cursed into everlasting fire, prepared for the devil and his angels, man. And any and what is it also saying? Um, John eight and forty four, man. Ye are your father the devil, for he was a murderer, a liar, and a murderer from the beginning, man. All right, and he, that was speaking of our people. That was being said to our people, man. The wicked of our people. All right, a lot of you, you Jakes, you come in that spirit of uh, Esau, man. So this also could uh apply to you. You see. For I was in hunger and ye gave me no meat. I was thirsty and ye gave me no drink. I was a stranger and ye took me not in. Naked and ye clothed me not. Sick in prison and in prison and ye visited me not. Then shall they also answer him saying, Lord, when saw we thee in hunger and or a thirst or a stranger or naked or sick or in prison and did not minister unto thee, then shall he answer them saying, Verily I say unto you, insomuch as ye did not come to one of the least of these, ye did, did it not to me. And these shall go away into everlasting punishment, but the righteous into eternal life, man. All right. So this is what's coming, man. You people. All right. You people that's uh, attached to society. All right. You're being set up for everlasting punishment. Now, I always bring this out. The two thirds of our people, they're going to be punished horribly on this side. But when uh, we in the kingdom, they're going to be good, man. The Lord not going to uh, uh, hate, you know, the majority of our people. All right, in the kingdom, man. We're going to all be good, man. But as on this side, Yahweh Bashim outside has mass judgment prepared for the two-thirds of our people because they're stiff-necked, they're hard-headed, and they refuse to return. All right? You other nations, everlasting punishment is coming to you, man. All right? Death by pain. You know? You're going to be in a pitiful case, man. All right? But at the end of the day, Yahweh Bashim outside got his elect. Okay, I'll just end it off on that. That's also my favorite scripture. Uh, second Ezra, the second chapter. All right, the Lord gonna clothe, He gonna feed, He gonna provide for His elect. All you other people, you, like I said earlier, you gonna dwell in torments, man. You gonna be in a pitiful case, man. All right, cause you despise counsel, you despise Yahweh by Shema Shah. You wanna keep running to uh, the enemy of Yahweh by Shema Shah. All right. For help, man. And you pissed the you pissing your how about Shimon Shah off, man, with that. That's treason, basically. Alright, the scriptures say thou shalt not make a covenant with the heathen or their gods. You're making a covenant with Esau, okay? Especially when you take the Maxine that chip, man. Alright. So this uh second is two and twenty-four. It says abide still, O my people, and take thy rest for thy quietness still come. Nor is thy children, O thou good, nurse establish their feet. As for the servants whom I have given thee, there shall not one of them perish. For I require them from among thy number. Be not worried, for when the day of trouble and heaviness cometh, others shall we even be sorrowful. But thou shalt be merry and have abundance. So it said we're going to be merry. So, uh, let's see the word merry. Uh, I just know. But you get the point. All right. Merry and have abundance. The heathen. All right. The, uh, the, the other nations and even two thirds of our people because they're counted as heathen on the side because what they are uh... let me see if I can find that they act just like the heathen all right they think like heathen so the Lord gonna count them. Okay, as heathens, man. They're going to get the judgment of the heathen. Let me try Matthew. Damn.
bear with me real quick. Okay, there it is. I always forget where this, this scripture is at. All right, this is Matthew 18 and 17 showing you, all right, that two thirds of our people on this side, they're, all right, they're going to be counted as heathen, man. Because this is why. All right, this is Matthew 18 and 15 says, Moreover, thy brother shall trespass against thee. Go and tell him his fault between thee and him alone. What does this, this scripture say? Cry aloud, spare it not. Uh, 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 shout with a trumpet, I believe. You know? Let my uh, let me see if I can find that real quick. I don't want to keep bushing these scriptures. I think it's Isaiah fifty eight or fifty nine. Let me try fifty nine. All right, it's uh, probably fifty eight. Yep, Isaiah fifty eight one. Cry aloud, spread not lift up thy voice like a trumpet, and show my people their transgression in the house of Jacob their sins. Right, we showing you are right, your fault. All right, okay. Let me see. All right, so that's the point. So, um, just going back. You show you being shown. All right, your fault. All right, but it's either you know it's a stumbling block onto you or it's a fence. You don't want to hear. It. All right, it doesn't please what you got going on. All right. So let me read again, uh, Matthew 18, 15, Moreover, thy brother shall trespass against thee, and go and tell him his fault between thee and him alone, right? If he shall hear thee, thou hast gained thy brother, right? But if he will not hear thee, then thou will, uh, with, so like he said, but if he will not hear thee, then take with thee one or two more, that in the mouth of two or three witnesses every word may be established, right? And if he shall neglect to hear them, to tell it unto the church, but if he neglect to hear the church, let him be on to thee as an heathen man and a pub a publican, right? So it is so if that's the case, they were buck up against it. They don't want to uh, uh hark it, they count as heathens, man. And that's what the, the lot that two thirds of our people are in right now. They count it as heathens, man. All right. They're gonna get the same because really the judgment is really for Esau and other nations. All right. But because you want to be like Esau and the other nations, all right, you're just gonna be counted as one. All right. It also says in Ezekiel the third chapter, you know, warn them whether they hear or forbear. A lie you, the two thirds of you are gonna forbear it. So what's gonna happen to you? Death by pain. All right. What's gonna happen to the elect, the one third? Uh, let me read. Let me get it back again. You know. Uh, let's go back. So, uh, Second Ezra two and twenty seven again it says, but be not wary. For when the day of trouble and heaviness cometh, others shall weep and be sorrowful. That's going to be the two-thirds, the other people. But thou shall be merry and have abundance. So the one, the elect, the one-third, they're going to have, they're going to be merry and have abundance. They're going to have food. They're going to have shelter. They're going to have protection. All right? Man or woman. All right? You're going to have protection, whether it's from an elect man or really from your high body shimel shot, man. All right? The heathen shall envy thee. But they shall be able to do nothing against thee, said, said the Lord Yahweh by Shema Shah. Because right now, you you it's like we looking on the inside out, man. You know? These people look like they got it, they prospering, they enjoying themselves. Alright? But you starting to see that's 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 gone now. Yahweh by Shema Shah has ticked that murph away. Alright? So as time goes on, alright, more and more of these people that rejected Yahweh by Shema Shah, really the the, uh, the bulk of our people. Not talking about the other nations, all right? They're gonna be in that state of what weeping and being sorrowful, being depressed, all right? And we're gonna be uh more and more uh we're gonna rejoice more and more, all right? At the downfall of the society, it says my hand shall cover thee so that thy children shall not see hell, all right? Which we know hell is what it's a condition. These people are about to catch straight hell, man. All right? Like I said, these what's going on in Texas? That's coming to uh, uh worldwide basically, all right. Especially America, America is gonna be uh the pinnacle of the Lord's judgment, as you see now, all right. Because this the Lord got a bone to pick with America, man, and you Edomites, all right.
And it says, Be joyful, O thy mother, with thy children, for I will deliver thee, said the Lord, Yahweh, Remember thy children that sleep, for I shall bring them out of the sides of the earth. Because the Lord going, that's another thing. All right, the elect, the one third, they're going to be um, beamed up on the so-called UFOs, the chariots. That's in the scriptures. All right, especially when the missiles hit. All right, if you uh, aren't beamed up on them chariots when the missiles hit, all right, that's it for you, man. All right. That's uh, Zechariah 14 and 12 for you. You see, that's going to be a plague for you. And show mercy unto them, for I am merciful, said the Lord, Yahweh Almighty. You know? So it is what it is, man. All right? I'm going to see if I could probably end it on... Um, that's the point, probably. I think that's the point. All right. Actually, I just get it. It's not what I just get it. It's Isaiah 31 5. As birds flying, speaking of the UFOs, so will the Lord Yahweh of hosts defend Jerusalem. All right. But he's going to defend the elect of Jerusalem. Two thirds of Jerusalem, they're not going to make it on this side. They're going to have to make it or come back on the the, uh, the second go round. They're not going to be able to be uh, the first fruits of witness, you know, at first. Uh, the first things of the kingdom, man. They got to be born into the kingdom. All right. Also, he would deliver it and pass it over. He would reserve it. And it's not just going to be chariots. It's going to be the angels. It's going to be the elect when they get them powers. All right. It's going to be all types of ways. Uh, Yahweh by Shema is going to work miracles, man. All right. But in order for him to work miracles, things got to get bad. It says, turn ye on to him from whom the children of Israel have deeply revolted. All right. You still got time to do that now. If not, you're going to end up like these people, man. All right? Lost, confused, don't know what the hell going on. Proud as hell, but getting ready to be destroyed. You see? For that, in that day, every man shall cast away his idols of silver and his idols of gold, money, which your own hands have made onto you for a sin, even these different gods. All right? A lot of people are about to find out. If they haven't found out now that these other gods that you be believe in outside your house by Shema Shah, there's only one God, like it says in Isaiah the 45th chapter, man. There's none else beside him, man. That's what a lot of people about to find out. Because see, right now, you can still try to debate, well, nah, this, this, and okay. You hold on to that and see that deliver you and what's about to happen, man. Them people in Texas, whatever, uh, they were leaving it outside your house by Shah. Why hasn't they been delivered from that? All right? Why they got to rely on the government? If you believed in those, those deities you believe in, you wouldn't be trusting the government as much. But that shows you, all right? It says, Then shall the Assyrian, which Esau is the modern Assyrian, this is spiritual Assyria, fall with the sword, not of a mighty man, and the sword, not of a mean man, shall devour him, all right? Because what, uh, what did Isaiah 47, um, let's get that real quick. All right, come and sit down in the dust, old virgin daughter of Babylon. Right, sit on the ground. There is no thorn with all the Chaldeans, the elites. For thou shalt no more be called tender and delicate. Take the millstone, grind mill, and cover thy locks. Make bare the leg and cover the thigh. Pass over the rivers. Thy nakedness shall be uncovered. Yea, thy shame shall be seen. I will take vengeance, and I will not meet thee as a man. As for our redeemer, the Lord Yahweh Shema Shai of hosts, is his name, the Holy One of Israel. Why? Okay. Is he gonna uh is he not gonna meet this man? Because like it said, uh above in Isaiah 30, uh 1 and 5, as birds fly, mean what? The chariots. The Lord gonna come, all right, in that great glory, that uh that power, man. Alright, and actually let's get that. That's Luke 21. Alright. And we probably gonna end it off, you know. All right. This is uh, Luke 21, 25. And there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars and upon the earth. Distress of nations. This is the uh, that distress is kicking in. All right. This is the build up. All right. Where perplexity, the sea and the waves roaring, men's hearts failing them 
for fear and for looking after those things which are coming on the earth. So you're going to have men have heart attacks just off of, you know, the things they're about to see, man. All right, this, this is going, it's, like I said, it's the buildup. All right? So imagine how bad it's going to get. For the powers of heaven shall be shaken. The elites, all right? They're shaking right now. You see? And then shall they see the Son of Man, which is Yahweh coming in the cloud, which if you go into Psalms 104, and uh, Psalms 104, let's get that real quick. Let's get to the point. Well, I start at one. Bless the Lord, Yahweh, by Shemashah, my soul, O Lord, Yahweh, by Shemashah, my power. Thou art very great. Thou art clothed with honor and majesty, who covers thyself with light, as with a garment, who stretches out the heavens like a curtain, who layeth the beams of his chambers in the waters, who maketh the clouds his chariot, who walketh upon the wings of the wind. And we know uh, Psalms 68 goes into, um, I think it's 22 or 17, right? It says uh, in 15, the hill of Yahweh is as the hill of Abation, and high hill as a hill of Bashan, right? Which leap, why leap ye, ye high hills? This is the, the hill which Yahweh desired to dwell in. Yeah, the Lord Yahweh by Shemashah will dwell in it forever. The chariots of Yahweh are 20,000, even thousands of angels. The Lord is among them, as in Sinai in the holy place, man. Okay? And... What you think they come to do? They come to make war with the beast. They come to make war against you Edomites. All right. So he's gonna come in that that cloud, that that glory, man. Let's go back. I'm gonna finish it off. Almost went to the next thing. All right. So going back, I'm gonna read it again. In twenty uh twenty seven, and then shall they see the sun see the son of man come in the cloud with power and great glory, man. He's not gonna meet you as a man. All right. He ain't coming. All right, with the uh, bulletproof vest, you know, an M16, a helmet, some boots. All right, he ain't coming like that. Just like these other heathen nations and, and all these other people come at you with. No, nah, he's coming at you with a power from on high, man. Power that you've never seen before. That's out of this world, man. All right? Not even your space force is going to be able to do nothing against it. And when these things begin to come to pass, then look up, lift up your heads for your redemption. Draw it now, man. Who was redemption for? It's for the Israelites, man. All right, only. All right, and we see the chariots. Look up UFO sightings. See how many of those things. Those are the chariots. All right. Um, we're gonna finish it off. We're gonna close it out. Pick up what left off. It says then this is the eighth verse. It says then saw the Assyrian fall with the sword, not of a mighty man, and the sword, not of a mean man, shall devour him. But he shall flee from the sword, and his young men shall be discomfited. Because they're going to see, all right, Yahweh shall come in, man. Well, what does it say? You know, hide us from, uh, uh, they, they shall say to the rocks, hide us from, um, let me see if I can find that. Just got to bring it out. Revelation the sixth chapter, I think it is. This, uh, Revelation 6 and 16. Actually, go up a little bit. And 13, it says, And the stars of heaven fell onto the earth, and even as a fig tree cast of her untimely face, when she is shaken of a mighty wind, which we know mighty wind is what? That Jeremiah 51, the destruction. All right? The heavens depart as a scroll, the mushroom cloud, when it is rolled together, every mountain and island will move out of their places. And the kings of the earth, and the great men, and the rich men, and the rich men, and the chief captains, and the mighty men, every bondman, and every free man, all right, hid themselves in the dens and in the rocks and mountains. This is the elites. They're going to be hiding in these bunkers, all right? And guess what? And it says, and said to the mountains and rocks, fall on us and hide us from the face of him that sitteth on the throne. And from the wrath of the Lamb, which is Yahweh Shah, all right? Yahweh's going to say Yahweh Shah. At the end of the day, Yahweh Shah, all right, they're coming to do damage, man. For the, 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 the for the the great day of his wrath is come, and who shall be able to stand? All right, that's why they're gonna be discomforted, man. It's gonna be to the point where they just stop fighting. They're gonna try to hide, man, but it's not gonna work because the Lord gonna send all right them hunters, man. It's gonna be the elect men. All right, New Jerusalem. They're gonna be coming down. Gonna be running up. 
heathens. They're going to be purging out the rebellious of our people. All right? It's going to be game over. All right? And um, I think that's it. I could be going on all day, you know? We'll go back. The ninth verse, it says, And he shall pass over to his stronghold for fear, and his princes shall be afraid of the ensign, said the Lord, Yahweh Shemal Shah, whose fire is in Zion and his furnace in Jerusalem, man. All right? So this is what's coming, man. All right? Two-thirds, you heathens, you Edomites, you're going to suffer. All right? The elect, the one-third, you're going to be good. Okay? So, uh, call her Lord, like Yahweh Shemal Shah, Yahweh Ratazah, Zahra, Zahra, Papa Kasha. Aba Papa, Aba Papa, Aba Ha Ayapa, Aba Ha Ayapa. Shalom to elect to the few Aquap that do this and learn. Shalom, Hawad, Hayah, Laya Hobashimosha, Shalom.